Welcome along then. It is driver reveals time. Yes, drivers now are starting to be revealed in F1 Clash for the 2024 season. And you can see down below just here when that release date is going to be. Now, also, right hand side of your screen, season score button, six days, 23 hour countdown till the 7th of May, nine o'clock, I believe it is. But welcome some driver rewards hopefully you might have seen a sneak peek of these already today but let's run you through them quickly we have alpine and williams but then we're going to break down and compare this year to the new season who gets an upgrade who gets a downgrade but first of all let's show you this and we'll run through it again off on there he is there's the livery for our people. Yes, the slowest car on the grid. We'll show you one more time and then we'll start to compare, first of all. But we'll also show you, we'll show you Williams first, shall we? And then we'll go into it. So we'll show you the livery again that's coming in game this season. And eventually, maybe not, you will never see it. Then let's show you Williams. The Williams drivers for the F1 Class 2024 season. Here they are, Alex Dalbon. You'll notice some big shots in here. Hopefully you've seen it already. There's the beautiful livery for Williams. Let's tell you one more time before we start comparing. There's Albon, common, rare and epic. So three cards, each driver again. Start a good hit in there too and his epic card as well, there's the livery. So, with that, they are your first driver reveals. It is Alpine, it is Williams this season. And what we're gonna do now is take a quick look at the drivers and compare them. But first of all, that's not supposed to be over there. The Williams livery, which is coming this season and in the game, looking very, very tidy and not a nice livery. And then we've got the Alpine, Livery with all that carbon fiber coming to the game as well. So not looking pretty good. So first of all, let's get comparing. First of all, Esteban Ocon Common Series 3. So these are at max levels. Obviously, Commons we don't tend to use too much in the end. So let's go and take a look. Last season, he was Series 3. And he had... And let's select it so we can see this clearly, shall we? So he is down on overtaking. He is defending the 50, so he's gone up on defending in this season. Qualifying is a lot lower stat on the qualifying for the common. That's interesting. Race start is a lot lower on the common. And the tyre management is a lot lower. So that common is a lot worse of a card than once was. So let's go and find Esteban Ocon Rare then, shall we? So Esteban Ocon Rare is now a Series 7. Before, it was Series 7. No change there. So max level in this Rare, overtaking 58, a lot lower again. Defending 68, slight increase, which follows the common card trend. Qualifying 48, wow, well lower. Obviously, we've seen it now come onto the car, which is very interesting. Race start 53, wow well lower. This is at max level, by the way. And tyre management 10 lower at 63. That's a lot lower stats on a car. This is interesting. How about Ocon Epic? Let's go and find Ocon Epic. So this season, it's going to be Series 10. For last season, it was Series 10 as well. So Esteban Ocon then. Well, he's got 10 less qual overtaking. He's got around 11 more defending. So increase again, exactly the same. His qualifying is only 70, whereas in the game this season, it was up at 91. We've got a race start, which is a lot lower at 75. And a tyre management at 85. Really lower stats, I feel, across the board, especially in the qualifying and race start. Definitely seems a lot lower usable card. This very interesting boy. So with that, let's get in to Gasly from Alpine. Let's go and find Gasly's common card. Here it is. Series 3 remains Series 3. Will it follow the trend? 
Overtaking is lower. Defending is a lot lower. Qualifying is lower. Race start, lower. Tire management, a lot lower. This is mad. Hutch have completely rebalanced these driver stats massively. This is going to be interesting to how this season is going to work. We've got Gasly Rare. Gasly Rare. Was Series 7? It's still Series 7. Um, so, overtaking, nine less. Defending, a lot less. Qualifying, a lot less. Race start, just one less. Tire management, way less. So, tire management seems to have massively dropped off for these drivers so far from what we can see. Is there going to be a peak of a lot better drivers who are just a got to have? And these don't seem that usable at all. I know Alpine have been one of the worst teams so far, and this is probably why they're being released early on. That doesn't look great in terms of stats. Doesn't look very usable at all. Now, Gasly Epic, where does he sit? Series 11 last year. This year, Series 10. It's been demoted one series. So let's take a look. His overtaking then is a lot better though. His defending is just a little bit less, seven less. His qualifying, a lot better for Pierre Gasly at 80. Race start, way better at 90. And a tyre management just less than his previous card. So I'd say that's a bit of an upgrade for Pierre Gasly, even though he has dropped down the series. And we see our first big epic. I don't think Archon Epic's that great. Qualifying 80, race start 90. Could be very interesting. That could shape it up for the new season. Very interesting. Let's get on to William then. Alex Albon, first of all. Series 3 common. Last year, he was a Series 2 common. So, again, same sort of statistics here. Or stats. Overtaking way less than the common that we had. Defending slightly less. Qualifying is better for Alex Albon. Is that a hint? Race start not as good. Tire management very poor. So Commons seem to have very poor stats this season. What about the rare for Alex Albon? Let's go find out. Series 6 last year. He's Series 7 this year. So overtaking is way better last year for Albon. His defending was way better last year. Qualifying wasn't as good last year. His race start is lower, tyre management awful. So 48 tyre management, again, doesn't look a very usable car hard at all, really, for Alex Albon. But that is all going to change when you get to his epic, I can assure you. Alex Albon was a level series, well, series one epic last time out. He is now series 11. Massive, massive shock. We knew that he deserved an upgrade. Did we know he was going to get to Series 11? Probably not. We probably thought Series 9, Series 8 at least. But is this one of the best cards potentially on the game to get? Because his overtaking is pretty good at 80. His defending is pretty solid at 85. And then we get qualifying 95, race star 90. Now, we know he's the qualifying king when it comes to a William. And this does reflect his qualifying performances. But he's very good for a qualifying. And if qualifying and race start is usable this year, then you're going to see that yet again. This car will be very usable. Tire management, not so great. We haven't seen any strong tire management so far, which could be very interesting to say the least. Last year's Series 1 Epic Albon goes up to Series 11 with some poor, poor stats from last year. So let's run you through them quickly again. We have Alpine. First of all, Gasly. All three variations. Common. There you go. Series 10. Ocon's in there as well. Series 10 too. Tire management is good for Ocon, actually, to be fair. Williams. We've been through this one. Albon, really epic. Is big. One point ninety-five race start ninety. Loads of Sergeant doesn't look usable either. I don't think we've been through Sergeant, have we? Oh no, we think we have. No, I don't think we have. 
Let's go back through Logan. We, we've missed one. We've missed. What are we doing, folks? What are we doing? Logan Sargent, the GOAT. Let's get him on. Awful. Let's go let's to the next card. Yeah, he's not great, Logan Sargent. Let's be honest. Series one, very, very low stats across the board. Looking at his rare, it doesn't get that much better, but I'm sure it's a potential increase on what he might have had. Let's have a look. Nope, he gets worse, and that's a lot of the stats that are the same. Overtaking, defending, race start, all low, a lot lower. And then the Epic this year, because Logan Epic was pretty poor last year, is still a Series 2. Doesn't really change. 51s, 52s, 57s last year is not as good. Not even worth going through. It's poor Logan. But that is your driver reveals for today. Alpine and Williams, both for F1 class 2024.